Meet a Gambian pouched rat. He's also been dubbed a hero rat because these guys are being groomed to save lives. They're almost blind but have a keen sense of smell. So they've been trained to sniff out landmines. They can also be trained to diagnose tuberculosis through smell much more quickly and accurately than human lab technicians can with a microscope. I'm here in a minefield in rural Angola, a country decimated by three decades of civil war. Normally, landmine detection is painstakingly slow. It's done with metal detectors that constantly sound false alarms from scraps of metal like empty bullet casings or nails. Each time, the earth must be carefully brushed away. But rats can scramble through the minefield, and they respond only to the scent of explosives. In two hours, they can clear a land that would take a human days to clear. The rats already cleared maybe 400 square feet in uh, just a few minutes and it works for bananas. The rats themselves are too light to set off the landmines. I think the rat has maybe detected something. If he thinks it's TNT, he'll scratch the ground for a little bit. That area will be marked for further investigation. That's the signal. Alfredo Adamo is a field supervisor here, and he knows firsthand the toll of landmines. His grandfather lost a leg to a mine. There are areas now that there are schools, and there are houses, and there are farms where we worked. And when I pass by and I see all these things, I feel proud. And now farmers have access to land that was once too treacherous to farm. Hero rats reflect a revolution in humanitarian aid. Organizations are applying new approaches to old problems, hugely amplifying their impact. So bravo to the innovators and to these giant rats saving human lives. 